you. What's up, everybody? Happy Sunday. It's your old buddy, Troy. And I'm going to play some Divinity Original Sin 2. And I don't know, I said this the other day when I, uh, when Joe and I opened up the Employee Lounge for Business. That I started the original Twitch channel, and I used to stream on Sundays all the time. This is before Joe and I had kids. He would come over, and we would just sit there. My wife was at work. We would play for hours on end, Dark Souls 3. This is so nice to return, to return to our roots. Back then, there was like maybe 10 people watching. Now there's 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 twice that, maybe. No, we got we got a good crowd. Uh, I am pretty, uh, pretty fired up to play this. I can't remember. I think it was Tuesday night that was the first uh, stream for the... Uh, GCN Employee Lounge, and uh, it was great. It was just so fun to play something laid back and to just fucking relax, like Android's Friday night. I don't know if everybody's caught up. Like, that is, this is such a stressful uh, time for me to be able to just sit and relax and play video games. That's why we opened up this second channel. Well, that, and we don't want these streams kind of muddying up the more professional-looking streams uh, on the main chan. This is the alt-chan. Uh, but yeah, since Tuesday, I have been playing, uh, a lot of this. Well, I shouldn't say a lot. I think I sneak in like an hour a night after my wife goes to bed. Um, and I'm, I'm starting to figure out, figure out the game a little bit better. And most importantly, I am blown away by this game. People have been talking about Divinity Original Sin since the first one came out, how great it was. And I'm, I knew I would like it, but I didn't know why it was so great until I started like digging into it. And now I am... I'm not like, I wouldn't even say I'm deep in. I'm uh, maybe five hours in, maybe six. And some of those hours, you know, is just going through menu screens trying to figure out how the fuck this game works. Uh, and I just, I mean, in terms of RPGs, in terms of turn-based RPGs, it is an unbelievable game. If you haven't played this game and you like Pathfinder, Starfinder, and all that shit, I mean, you, you, you have to play this game. It is unbelievable. Uh, I can't say watching me play is going to make you want to go play, uh, but you just have to trust my judgment. It's really good. Um, I have the chat on here, uh, so I'm going to see what's what's going on. Uh yeah, we got a good crew. Good crew in the in the house. It looks like uh, a lot of our non-American uh, viewers can tune in. This is a clutch time because when we do Androids and Aliens live at 8 p.m., uh, you know that doesn't work for people who are outside of the U.S. But this is uh, that's why we used to do these Sunday streams, Sunday morning or Sunday afternoon, because uh, you know get a lot of, some of our viewers who don't get to catch us live all the time. So, anyways, uh, I think Grant and Skid were on last night doing a little. Uh, GCN after dark, just like the good old days. Uh, so now I'm going to play some Divinity Original Sin. And uh, yeah, I have glasses and no hat. So just fucking get used to it because this is my life now. I can I can see. I can see a, a lot better. I mean, the chat is very, very small. I have my I have two laptops going here. I got one streaming and I've got one uh, with the chat and it's, it's still a little small. But everything is a lot clearer. Like when I take it off, I realize the difference when I put the glasses on. Like life is in focus again. Uh... Which is nice. Which is nice. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna just jump right in and play. My my son's sleeping. Uh, hopefully he'll stay asleep for. Uh, well, he'll stay asleep sleep for all the stream because when he wakes up, that's <laughs> pretty much when the stream ends. But I'm gonna have some water because I'm already talking too much. And let's uh, got some on my hands. I'm sitting here with my cat Linus. Uh, let's just let's just have a good time. I gotta catch you up on on what has been going on because this game. This game is amazing. Uh, when we did the first stream uh, Tuesday night, this is only the second stream, but I've been playing since. We ended. Uh, we were in the. We started at the bottom of a boat. Didn't really know what was going on, but people with magical powers are like under arrest. It is outlawed because, from what I gather, this power that they gather that anyone who is a magic user draws from this power known as the source. And I'm just paraphrasing based on my knowledge of the game so far. So if I'm wrong get over it. Uh, they draw from this power called the source, but evidently uh, drawing from this power has awoken these creatures from the void, the void woken, or at least that's what the people in charge, the, the magisters uh, are led to believe. And so all of the magic users in the world are on lockdown uh, with these collars. And so we were on a boat uh, going who knows where and uh, just me, Yebby Jones, MD, Dr. Yebby Jones, and a bunch of other assholes. And eventually I get to the top, and there's like a kraken attacking the ship. 
I defeat these little void woken bugs that are running around, and then I escape on. Well, this this was where we we ended the stream. I killed the the bugs, and I was like, "See you next stream." So then I jumped on a, an escape boat. I had like a chance to go save the rest of the people, but I was like, I gotta get out of here. I don't know what's gonna happen. This boat's about to capsize. I jumped on the boat. That boat capsized as well. I wake up on this beach. So for the past few hours, I have just been walking around the beach, finding like dead bodies everywhere, dead magisters, dead uh, magic users as well, these source caller people, and also coming in contact with some other sci- su- survivors from the capsized boat. In talking to some of them, some of the people that I talked to while I was on the boat, they have joined my party. So now I have a full party of four adventurers. And this was the part of the game that I thought was going to really, like, overwhelm me. I felt like that when I played Dragon Age Inquisition. I'm like, it's just too much to keep track of. I just want one character that I can focus on. And that was really... I'll be honest, I think that was my hesitancy in jumping to this game series for a long time. Is just because I, I just feel like it's going to be overwhelming. It is and it isn't. Now that I'm getting a better handle on the game, like I can't imagine not doing it. I want a fifth party member because I don't like my particular party makeup right now. But whenever you run into somebody and you can maybe convince them to join your party, you get to choose what class they are. So you get to build your class. So let's go and meet the uh, meet my friends here. So obviously my main is Yebby Jones MD. This is Yebby. Let's, uh, let's zoom in on old Yeb. He is a dwarf inquisitor. Uh, badass. I'm pretty sure he is third level now. Let's see. Second level. Yeah, so you haven't missed too much. I leveled up. No big whoop. Uh, leveling up is kind of cool. Same kind of thing as like Pathfinder, except I get attribute points. Like, I'm assuming every level. I got one from first to second as opposed to like just getting one every few levels. You get uh, new combat. You basically think of these as like skills. Uh, Inquisitors are, the way their interpretation of Inquisitors in this game is, is more like the necromantic. Um, so anyways, you can kind of put points into different skills. I, Yebi has just naturally been two-handing, so I put a point into two-handing. So we will do a little more damage. You can also then put points into your civil abilities. So combat abilities, civil abilities, diplomacy and whatnot. Uh, and then, I, ha- I don't think I got any new talents, but I'm sure you unlock more talents along the way. And all this other shit. So anyways, Yebby Jones, MD, Dwarf, Inquisitor. Uh, Let's meet the rest of the team. So then there's this dude, the Red Prince. Remember this asshole? We met him on the boat. He was not cool. I talked to him for a little bit, and he was like, All right, I will let you be my slave. You're my slave now, and I don't need you at the moment. Ta-ta. Well, I met him, talked him down, and he was like, I will join your crusade for the moment until I can do this. And so, I don't remember. He's I've got a side quest I'm trying to follow with him, but he is my wizard and he is a badass. Uh, Joe, I was talking to Joe the other day and Joe is deep into this game. He says that the, the Red Prince here has a crazy story and he's a playable character. I wanted to build my own character. Um, but anyways, I made him my wizard. I think his default class was like, I don't know, battle mage or rogue. I don't know. He said, he's like, I can also, I could fight. I can also sneak or I can do this. I'm good at everything. I was like, wizard, you're going to be my wizard. Um, so he's kind of like my blaster fire wizard, total badass. Uh, and then we got this guy, Fane. So Fane, when we met him on the boat, he had a human face or an elf face. I can't remember. Come to find out he's undead. And so he's looking for this thing that allows him to steal faces and put them on. Right now, he is just a walking skeleton. I have made him my ranger and he sucks. I hate him and I want to get him off my team. I think it's just that rangers suck or I suck. It's possible that I suck, but his abilities are just... The reason I made him a ranger, I wanted somebody that could attack from a distance. Someone that could like fire in from afar while everybody else can go up and bang uh, in more close range. And so in that respect, he is good, but I don't know. I just feel like he's the one that is always like at the edge of death. He sucks, but it might be me. And then I just got this dude, another dwarf. Uh, his name is Beast, and he was the guy on the boat that said he was like, oh, I used to be a ship captain, blah, blah, blah. He is a cool guy. I'm starting to get a little more into his story. I made him just a straight-up fighter. He said, I'm a battle mage. What do you want me to be? I was like, I don't want you to be a battle mage. I have plenty of those. I want you to just be a straight-up fighter. So he has been very good uh, in the couple battles that I've used him, getting up and fighting. Um, so that's the team. Uh, I have been 
kind of bouncing around the island and I came upon Fort Joy. And this is the fort that is full of magisters and people with these source callers. Uh, it's, it's a little overwhelming, especially as like an OCD completionist. Like I feel like I have to search everywhere and talk to every person. So I'm not going to lie, this stream might be a lot of talking to people, but I'm hoping to find a combat. I just finished a pretty intense combat. Actually, two in a row. One, where a guy came running up to the Red Prince and was like, Ha, ah, asshole, you're going to die. I'm a hired assassin. And so we had to fight this guy. And in that fight, I lost Beast. And so I used a Resurrect Scroll on him. I've read online, like, save your Resurrect Scrolls, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you know, at the end of the game, I'm going to have 50 Resurrect Scrolls. I don't really give a shit. You can always quick save and start a new save, which is an element of this game. Like, you go through a fight, you lose, and you load the previous save. I don't think it's frowned upon. I think that's how you play this game. So in the next fight, I fought these three giant crocodiles, and Fane died. And so I resurrected him, too, because I just didn't feel like redoing the fight. So I've already burned two Resurrect Scrolls. If you're watching this and you play the game, you're probably like, oh, Troy, you're fucked, dude. You're fucked. Shut up and let me play the game I want to play. Um, so that's where we're at. I'm going to walk around as Yebby. I got so much shit here. This drives me nuts. I'll, I'll admit, while four characters I've kind of come to grips with, the inventory uh, as someone with like borderline OCD drives me crazy because I don't know how to manage it. I don't know what I'm supposed to sell. I don't know what I'm supposed to craft. I haven't even got into crafting yet. Um, but it just it makes me nervous just looking at it. And I don't like that Yebby Jones, MD is holding everything whatever let's just fucking play i want to get off beast and go with yebby um again i need some water hope you guys are having fun on this sunday what's everybody doing i'm, I'm not talking to the chat you guys should be talking to each other or teaching me how to play this game and i'll read it later um all right let's just go in this camera angle looks cool horrible way to play you want to be able to see what the hell's going on before it goes on let me take you over here and show you this battle that just wrapped up. Three dead crocodiles. These dudes hit hard. Hard. They hit hard. Saltwater crocodile. This guy chopped to pieces. This guy dead. This one teleported up there. Uh, and then I burnt him to a crisp. Fun fact, I search his body. He has gloves of teleporting. The saltwater crocodile was wearing gloves of teleporting. So I gave the gloves of teleporting to the Red Prince, my blast wizard, because the problem I'm having with him, his fire spells are so explosive that whether I'm using a cone or he has this one that's just like boom all around him, it, it ends up hurting my allies. I've yet to really figure out how to use his spells effectively to not include anyone else. So I figured by giving him the gloves of teleportation, it's going to allow him, especially if there's a fight with multiple enemies, to just fucking teleport over to another guy away from his allies, blast that dude. Maybe I'll be able to do some more battlefield control. I don't know. But does just talking about this get you as excited as I am about this game? It really feels like you're playing Pathfinder. Uh, the reason I even went through with this fight, because the game was like, you should probably flee, asshole. I was like, nope, it's because I just knew there was shit over here. So I found more dead, actually, that was a dead body with stuff on it. This was just like a severed head, torso, and arm that I added to my inventory. I role-played it like, this is Yebby's jam if he's into necromancy. And then um, I found a hidden chest over here that had some cool shit. Uh, anyways, we're going to go back to Fort Joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. And uh, just talk to some more people and hopefully get in a fight. Oh, I just walked through oil, so now I'm slowed. Oh, here's one thing I don't know about. There are these, like, barrels everywhere that are either, like, like right there. That's an oil barrel. Um, I could pick it up and uh, that's not an oil barrel. Bad example. But there's, like, oil barrels or water barrels. I think I can, like, throw fire at it and it will explode and whatnot. I can add it to my inventory, but that's just stupid. I don't really know what to do with those, but they always seem to be in a location where a fight is about to happen. Um, so I'm going to keep an eye on the chat if you can help me out. What, what am I supposed to do with those? I wish I could walk through the water, but all it says is wet, which is what I am playing this game. All right, so I have a little black cat that follows me as well. I have read online that you have to be careful because the guards inside Fort Joy will kill him, but I can't worry too much about it. I have enough time worrying about my own cat. Uh, all right, so let's go back up he here. I think I've talked to all these dudes. Who's Balladeer? Please excuse us. Again. Come on, chap. Please excuse us. 
You're talking to me, not him, Sam. <coughs> What'd you say about my wife? Um, oh, yeah, I'm gonna jump in here, see if I can settle this argument. Oh, no. Piss off. Go on, Sam. Well, it's the truth, and you know it. She's better off. So what if it was messy? I'd rather puke myself. A flat smile twitches across Baladir's lips. Oh. Did, like <laughs> did not see that coming. He just punched him. Can I loot him? Is this frowned upon? Well, let me talk to him now. The man looks for a moment at the corpse at his feet. Is that coffin for the person you just murdered? And no. This here's a bed for someone a thousand times better than that snake, rest your soul. This here's a bed for someone a thousand times better than that snake. Griet, she passed in the night. For the love of my life, Gret. She passed in the night. He tenderly runs a hand along the coffin. If she were here, she'd tell me this blank is crooked. Chastise me for you. The man holds a hand. The story in this game is super deep. It's a lot of uh, not only reading text but choosing your words carefully because how you ally with people um, can your the relationships you build ends up opening up more doors uh, down the line if you build favorable relationships I'm sure it works the other way too negative relationships um, can both be good or bad uh, I'm gonna keep exploring around Fort Joy so anything that isn't red I can search and not uh, get in trouble for stealing shit so I've just been searching like a madman because I can't stop I'm gonna steal a bedroll here I guess I'll take some nails right <coughs> okay it's driving me crazy because I don't know what I've searched and what I haven't I feel like I'm pretty much see all those red if I I could get into that like a deeper thieverly thieverly thievery I'm going to have a deeper thievery skill. Um, but I'm not going to worry about it too much now. Have I talked to this dwarf? The dwarf slaps his knees and chest Ooh, until a dwarf bard. Develops and begins to, well, I don't care. Not sing exactly, but Lasloa. I have not talked to this guy. I'm always, the way I'm role playing it is anytime I meet a dwarf, I'm psyched and I'm super nice. Oh, so I'm just going to stand back then and let me catch up. Examine a companion to check their current attitude. Be aware those who don't like you. Oh. Well, that's interesting. So I want to maintain healthy relationships with my party. Otherwise, they'll just... Psh. Good rebel whooper on him, warning of the barbaric beast. The others, well, gotta admit, I'm tired of hearing the shanty. I'm reading some chat here. Uh, matching elements together. Yep. Spread electric shots through the water to stun enemies. Yeah, I knew about poison to heal fame. Uh, RO9 GE. Thieverly. Shut up, old scratch Johnson. I messed up, alright? Um. I just want to see about those buckles. Barrels are good because you can break them in combat and they'll put large amounts of whatever. That's what I thought, but then don't I get covered in them? I guess if you used a ranged attack, that's probably better. Um, yeah, all right, so that's kind of what I thought would happen. You break an oil barrel, presumably from afar, and then throw a fire spell on it. It's going to create a bigger effect. That's kind of what I thought, but it seems like a lot of work. Uh, I'm tired of hearing the shanties all singing my praises. Let's hear the royalist tune, but it dresses me down real good. Beast is very Dalgreth Deathbringer. That's, maybe that's where Joe got this idea, because he's not very original or creative, so he most likely stole it from Beast. Except Beast, um, thus far has been quite effective. Big difference between him and Dalgreth. One royalist tune. All right, I don't care about songs. I skip over the songs in Lord of the Rings, too. Sue me. The hinterlands. There's always hinterlands in these games. Looking for rebels in the shadows. Sometimes I go, of course, back. Oh, good. See, if I keep Beast happy, everybody's happy. 
It's good to see a friendly face. All right, new friends. Friends becoming friends. Lovers becoming enemies. All right, here we go. Uh, if you're just tuning in, thanks for uh, thanks for checking out the stream. This is totally low key. This is as low key as I get, um, and it's a nice change of pace from having to be fucking on all the time. Uh, I'm sorry, I yelled. Just a little excited. Okay, good. Now I'm back to where I think oh, these maps they really give me waypoint travel. I can quick travel. Sweet. Always take candles. Yeah, so these maps give me uh, not a headache. They just kind of they make me nervous because they're big and I want to do everything. At a certain point, I have to understand that that's not humanly possible. You want to know what an asshole I am? What, like a psychopath, the way my brain works, like Dragon Age Inquisition, I had to, uh, when I completed the game, make sure that I uncovered every single part of every single map. And so if there was any black space on a map, I had to go to that map and uncover it. It just drives me nuts. Same with like the Batman games. I didn't have to get 100%, but I had to make sure I got every single Riddler trophy. And I wouldn't stop until I did. Uh, so I don't know what my particular peculiarity is going to be in this game, but I'm sure we'll find out. Rezik. This guy, I fear it'll be quite some time before we find any answers. Oh, this guy might have goods for sale? Hmm. Ooh, ooh, what are these? Oh, sweet. So I've been finding these. I've started to uncover these skill books. They're super expensive to buy. I've only got 335 gold. One of these is 303. However, you learn, you just, it's like buying a scroll. You learn that, ske uh, that uh, spell. Armor, frost, hail strike. All right, so this guy must be some sort of, uh, like, frost mage. Again, like, I want to sell stuff. He only has six gold on him, so it's, it's not like I can really get a lot off of him, but I don't even know what I can sell. I'm sure I'd be fine selling garlic, but do I need seven clams? I don't know. Uh, barter, buy back. I'm not going to buy anything off you. Um, you know, the, the good thing about this game is, like, you guys can teach me. Sell gold cups, gold plates, and gold silverware. It says Astroy 9. Cool name, Astroy. That's good to know. Uh, okay. See, I want to play and be in This was so nice when Joe and I used to stream together, uh, because, uh, he would handle the chat and just pepper me with questions and I would play the game and be be myself okay this is good I feel like I've uncovered this area here and I've been down to this beat so here's where I haven't been I haven't been oh down that little cobblestone path and I haven't been further along this beach I did loop around from where that assassin I was talking about fought me and I met this dude here really cool guy and I sold him something, but I didn't buy anything. So, I kind of want to hang out on the beach. Maybe it's just the winter weather here in New York, but I, I want to hang out on the beach. Can I walk up there? No, okay. It's capsized ships everywhere. It's like Absalom. Okay, I got a feeling there's going to be something good down here. Uh, all right. Campfire. Uh, I have 800 fish bones. I don't need any more. Okay, this is interesting. There's nobody here. I could probably get away with stealing shit, but... Ooh, like that minor healing. Posh! Give me that sweet posh! Um, all right, no good. Um, what else can we talk about? Uh, I don't know if anybody caught, uh, our new cannon fodder we did on Friday, Joe and I, and Skid, uh, was on there as well when we were talking Raiders, but, uh, I was really happy with it. The camera setup looked really cool with our set in the background, and, uh, we're, we're planning to do this every Friday, or as many Fridays as possible, uh, from the studio or we're on, when we're on the road. And it was just like old cannon fodder, just talking about eps, but just that week's eps, not like months worth of eps that I can't even remember. And uh, also dropping some cool Glass Cannon Network info, which 
you know, another thing about these streams, you know, this, we got 86 people watching right now, is uh, I can use this to, well, I'll take that bone pile. Oh, search the bone pile and find some gold. Is I can give you guys some inside information because you took the time to watch the stream. So I can tell you some things we talked about on the FOD, as well as some stuff that's probably going to come out in the intro this week, which I should record after I do this. But I don't want to. No one ever wants to record the intro, and I make everyone do it. But I myself never want to record them as well. Um, my intros always just they just take too long. Wait, should I search this fish rack? Oh, a herring. Is it a red herring? Find out next week. All right. Oh, a dog. Keep get away from my cat. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna give you. I'm, I'm teasing you with the information I was gonna give you, but it's gonna happen. Uh, what I can do is one of my do people here. This is Fane's like only useful ability. He can talk to animals. He heaves a heavy sigh. Ask the dog his name. The what's, dog I'm going to ask him what's the matter. It's it's no use anyway. All the animals that I've talked to are depressed and or angry. Give the dog Atusa's nice juicy leg. Ooh, I don't know who Atusa is. Okay. I'm going to do it. I'm all about befriending people right now. I need as many friends as I can get. Mm, smells revolting. Much, much, much. Wait, wait a minute, that tastes like this is... I don't need people. Shit, yeah, you try to do something nice. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is sad. Sorry, I hope no one from PETA is watching. Uh, oh, can I just diplomacy? All right, so I can examine... God, this is just depressing. I'm going to kill this dog, but... Can I diplomacy my way out of it or not? Probably not. Uh, let's just pretend this never happened. Oh boy. That is depressing. And now it's dead. Okay, well I killed a dog. Welcome to the stream everybody if you're just tuning in. Uh, I have always been a cat lover, not gonna lie. Uh, Oh, I got the Atusa's leg back, though, so that's good. Some intestines and some earth essence. So, wasn't all for not. So sorry. Very sorry that I killed the dog. In my defense, I was trying to be nice, and I didn't realize that he was the one dog in the world that doesn't eat people. I've been over there. Okay. All right, we're starting to zip around here. Oh, things I was going to talk about. So... Uh, Glass Cannon Podcast, episode 250, live. What is this cave? We have to go in the cave, right? Anyways, Glass Cannon uh, Podcast, episode 250, live, is happening Thursday. I think that's March 5th. Let me just make sure. I don't want to give you guys improper information. Yeah, Thursday, March 5th, 8 p.m. We're going live for three hours with episode 250. My head is going to explode just thinking about it. Uh, we talked about that. We also talked about how the Boston show, which is in two weeks, less than two weeks now, during PAX East, sold out earlier this week. We added 50 tickets. They opened up the balcony. We've got seats now, stools all along the balcony. There's 50 more tickets that came available on Friday. Those are going fast. Please come to that show. It is going to be hot. If it's anything like the last Boston show, uh, come check that out. Um, pretty excited about that. I'm also excited just to get back to PAX East. Uh, with with the guys. I haven't been with all of these guys. I've only been with Joe and Skid. All right, so i got more stuff to talk about, but now I'm a little... A little I'm, I'm, we're definitely going to do that cave. we got to do the cave, right? we got to do the cave. Remember your failure at the cave. Uh, let's talk to Sybil here first, though. Oh, an elf with diamond features. And but cold too, and sharper than any knife. You suddenly spot an elf with diamond features, regal and radiant, but cold. She was oh, I remember her. She was not particularly nice. Thunder, deciding fates with every roll, or so she said. Her eyes are focused on a lizard huh. some distance away, and you get the distinct feeling. Yeah, I like this. Was that like guy I had do to earn that stare? Trapped in her tiger-like gaze. Oh shit! All right, so no she's a natural rogue. Mouth, then she turns about and grabs you in a stranglehold. You feel the tip. You caught me off guard. No one catches me off guard. Better tell me who you really are. 
so I can decide your fate here and now. A dwarf out of his kingdom, yes, like a fish out of water. Oh, uh, please don't make me fight this woman. Now you suddenly face her. The needle still all too deeply embedded in the you know something remained undetected, a flaw, a curiously shaped scar. How'd you get that scar? In the gloom of the ship, a flaw in her diamond features. A lizard cut this thing, this living... Oh, so she's looking at the lizard that hurt her. Ah, uh, there's a lot of people here that want to kill each other. I've noticed that. Uh, myself included. Point out you are no lizard. Politely ask her... Oh, come on. If you saw me mark my prey, you could warn him, save him. Oh, no, no, don't fight, don't fight. does not matter in the least who you really are. Ooh, yes, I want her to join the party, because she looks like a badass. And I need a rogue. I also need a cleric, but we'll deal with that later. She's not going to join. A bright sparkle of laughter follows your proposal. Okay, all right. Uh, planning our escape, you need a couple of people. Sooner or later, the magisters tell her. She'll... All right, she's prideful. She doesn't want to hear that. This is dangerous as well, though, because she might tell someone uh, that we're planning to escape. But how do you tickle me, most of our misguided deers? Uh, scoff and say that nothing. Sure, <laughs> that you're far from how misguided deer. Most of the misguided deer. I'm going to go with this, because she likes boldness. That's impossible. what I'm getting from her. She likes boldness. Maybe not. Ah, she respects me. A She's a rogue, say, and I caught her again. off guard. I did think catching me off guard Push or pull, the possible. agony of choice. You know what? Today's a rather fine day. Oh, I'm going to let you live and travel no with you, provided we talk to that lizard. Fine. fine day. Sunshine and an easy breeze. Yes, I'm not quite sure the weather will... With a casual All right, so this is what happens when you meet people and you recruit them, and it's awesome. You, me, and death will be playing many a round of hide-and-seek, so what role? Yeah, so she's naturally a rogue. All of them are naturally something, and my uh, obsessive compulsiveness always wants to have them play what they're naturally, what they naturally are. But from what I've read, it doesn't matter. You can have them be whatever your party needs, and it doesn't. Like, if she's a rogue, it's not going to make her a shitty wizard. Uh, she just becomes an amazing wizard. I think I could be wrong, but. I don't have a rogue. Uh, in fact, Fane, the undead, can use his bony fingers to, like, pick locks, but he's so shitty at thievery, he's unbeen unable to pick any uh, lock chest I've found, so I've had to just smash them open. So I'm thinking about making her a rogue. She wants to be a rogue. What? All right, let's go rogue. That settles it. Boom. Next person I find... No matter what, hashtag maybe not no matter what, uh, I'm making a cleric. We're far, yeah, so I've got too many people. We're returning to you once you've called a couple. Okay, great. So I made a friend, and now I have a rogue in the party. I'm thinking about telling Fane to get out of here and going Inquisitor, Wizard, Fighter, Rogue. That's a good party. Right now it's Inquisitor, Wizard, Ranger, Rogue. If I make her, excuse me, Inquisitor, Wizard, Ranger, Fighter. If I make her a ranged rogue, she'll do what Fane was meant to do. What do you think? Keep Fane for now or bring, tell Fane we'll talk to him later and bring her on? Let's see. You guys decide. Fane or Sybil? Fane or Sybil? guys don't give a shit. Nobody's even listening. Oh, goodbye, Fane. Fane, out. No, no. Bye, Fane. Bye, Felicia. I'm a big Fane guy, says Shackle. Either way, Fane doesn't get good until the last act. Spoilers. Get shot of the Red Prince. I like the kitty. I prefer Fane. Bye, Fane. Wow. It's really divided. All right, I'm going to stick with Fane then for right now, and we'll come back for her. Um, maybe later in the stream. All right, so we definitely going to do the cave. But I just want to complete this circle here, because what is happening? Let's talk to Newsy. What a crumbling disaster. Spread. What sort of matches are held here? You looking for a match? Let you make up for your height with a good strong sword arm. Drinking contest? Find out. Down the hatch. Oh no! Go down the hatch to the arena. That sounds awesome. 
don't want to do it. You know what I should do, though, is quick save for the first time since we started streaming. Uh, all right, so we've got a little side quest of the hatch. I'm not going to open a locked door to let a prisoner out. That's probably frowned upon. Oh, God, there's so much to this map. All of this could be stolen. Uh, I saw a couple of people ask, uh, do we have plans on releasing the FOD later as audio? Right now we don't, just because of the uh, the way this Crowdcast program works. It's just a lot of extra work, and we're not planning on it. We've talked about maybe releasing the first FOD video for free, uh, to, or for maybe just $5 patrons, um, just to see if it drums up some interest. Uh, we don't know, but we're committed to doing it right now for our $10 and up subscribers. Um, let's see how it goes. We're gonna, it's really an experiment to see how how much we can, uh, how many people we can convert from five to ten because our five dollar uh, subscriber tier is our most popular. And if we could ever convert like fifty percent or even twenty five percent of those subscribers to ten, it it means we can do so much more. So. Right now, we were, we've been thinking it for a long time. How do we make $10 more exciting? And to me, this is uh, one great way to do it. Let me talk to this idiot. Needle. What do you want, freak? Well, that's rude. Just having a look around. Uh, I don't want to talk to him. I think I've already talked to him. Uh, all right, so now there's stairs i got to go up. Let's go up this ladder. See this map. I don't know. Does this drive anyone else crazy? Like how much stuff you can look at? How do you not want to look at all of it? What's in this wooden box? Oh, I just picked up the wooden box. Oh good, this ends here. Uh, all right, bunch of stuff. Okay, great, that wasn't too bad. I thought that would go on for days. Come on, ladder, there we go. <coughs> All right, um, let's, I'm sure you guys are all chomping at the bit for the cave, but I have to check everything here. Camp boss. Griff is slowly, methodically peeling the skin from Tato. Looks up, Griff is puts the potato down, but not the knife. The skin from a potato. He's got the source collar, too. Uh, he but up. he's the what? camp boss. You in charge around here? Who's asking? Fellow inmate, have some questions. Oh, I should just go with this. I'm listening. Uh, ooh. Good friend to have. Yeah. Make friends with the people in high places. So I'll offer him a service, a little side quest, uh, and then we'll be buddies. Nothing I ever choose works. I've got, like, Joe O'Brien luck with my dialogue choices. Uh, interested in a trade, maybe? What has he got? Orange juice. He's got sure. garbage. Have a look. Stuff, said, huh? Oh, but he's got 439 gold. So you said I could sell gold cups, plates, and whatnot. Uh, do, 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 do. All right, I'm going to sell. Let's see if I have any of these gold plates. Should I sell my earth and life essence? Probably not. Uh, what are these? Grotesque jars? See, I look at this stuff, and I'm like, I probably don't need this, but I can't. I'd probably sell laboratory stuff. Oh, it's not worth anything. I got that special shipment you was All right, there's a gold cup. So I could sell those, Go right? Ahead. Boom. Sell them both. Awesome. Just made 200. Uh, that bowl is worth nothing. Jug is worth one. That's all crap. Paper. Wow, paper is a real... I'll sell a basket. Let's take it up room. I'll sell a couple of bowls. What else can I sell? I can somebody... Who said this? Uh, fat, bald bloke. Sell almost everything if I'm not going to do any crafting. Well, I might want to do crafting. Just not this second. Uh, so I want to just sell stuff that has no crafting need. But can make me some sweet cash. Oh, those gold cups were great. Invisibility potion, 80. Picked that up recently. Uh, all right, doesn't look like anything else here is really worth a damn. Uh, spoon, jug. I'll sell that wooden box because I didn't want to pick it up in the first place. 
And I'll... Ooh, plate. 18. Awesome. All right, that's good to know. I'll pick up all these plates. Tongs? Tongs feels like something I might need. All right, what about these weird dolls? Wooden figurine, 48. All right, forget it. That's enough. See ya. Now I gotta talk to your friend. Wait, did they leave? Anything I can steal here? All right. Uh, all right, let's go up here, and then I promise I'll check out the cave. Quick search. Whoa. Don't try anything funny around Griff. Ask her if she, you like what you see? Anything I need to know about this Griff character? Well, she's not going to tell me if she likes Griff. I don't want any trouble. Eh, actually, I'll ask anyways. He runs the place and everyone in it. Better to make yourself useful. I tried. He didn't. He wasn't interested. You're no help. You suck. Okay. Awesome. Uh, boo. Sorry, just checking my baby monitor. Getting my baby monitor on. Just monitoring my baby. Okay, you know what? This looks like... This is where I started, I think, right? Am I crazy? Guess I'll take a chip plate. Looks like these plates are worth money. Bunch of candles. I'll leave those there. Those seem to be there for a reason. Have I not been here? Oh, no, I haven't. Okay. Ugh, I'm not talking to all these people. I haven't even been to that side of the camp. All right, this is already getting to be a little much. Let's go check out the cave. I got to come back here. I can already see that just this main plaza here is going to be a good off-stream search situation. Off-stream search sitch. Here we go. Let's go down here. I'll say the hatch is intriguing, too, but... Let's do the cave first, and then maybe we'll go to the hatch. Cave just seems like definite place to do some combat. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to save here because when I inevitably lose one of my party members in a fight, I am going to uh, reload from this save instead of burning another resurrection scroll. Ooh, this looks awesome. Okay, so it's not a... Uh, well, it might still be a danger cave. Let's find out. Oh, shit. Okay. Can't you just go one way? Why is there going to be a left and a right? All right. Nice. Good. Oh, this game is great. Anybody have this feeling where, like, there's games that you know are good, but you don't want to play them because they just feel like they're going to be too much? That's another reason I just stayed away from this game for a while because even reading online, people are like, oh, yeah, 140 hours easy to finish this game. No, I don't have to finish the game, but what's the point of playing if you're not going to finish? Joe O'Brien never finishes games. Finishes, like, one out of every 20 game. I, same with books. I, if I start a book, I've got to finish it. Joe's able to read 20, 30 pages, hundreds of pages, and stop. I can't do it. I can't do it taking that lid. It's mine. It's my lid now. You hear me? Ooh, three pumpkins. So this game has kind of uh, eluded me for a while by choice because I don't know, I just felt like it was going to be too much. Now that I'm in it, it definitely is too much, but it's so good, it's worth it. I just feel like, oh, a log. Praise log. Now that I have a kid and this Wait, no, I don't need to sneak. What did I just press? Now that I have a kid and this insane uh, network, I can pretty much do one of three things. Play video games. And by video games, I mean like an hour a night, half an hour every other night. Uh, or uh, read, which I haven't done uh, in over a year and a half. I've been sitting on uh, Oathbreaker. I started reading before my son was born. I picked it up like once since, and I don't know what the hell is going on. Uh, and, or watch a show. And so before I got this game, I was burning through some shows, watched The Witcher, watched uh, Watchmen, loved them, started The Mandalorian, uh, and then I bought this game. And so I haven't watched The Mandalorian now in weeks. you got to choose. I can't do everything. I can't do everything. 
That's what I tell the guys. Uh, all right, let's talk to these kids. What game are you playing? Playing Helene, hero of the whole world. That's my mom's name. She died. Uh, I'm very sorry. Shit. Oh, that was weird. That was definitely not weird. Not not weird. Fwa, back, evil ogre. I'll get you with my sword. Valiant knight, please don't slay me. I'll spare you this time, beast, but don't cross me again. You're really fun. Hey, I'm gonna hide. You come find me. I'll give you a plus five long sword if you find me. Uh, set. Alright, I clearly have to follow this kid. Because he's going to give me a plus five long sword if I find him. Or he's going to get attacked by something. And I'll have to save him. Is this one of the things where I got to like find him three times? And then I get something? Just go play. I'm not a child. I have no interest in child games. After I played with him once, that'd be rude. Uh, I'm sorry, but I have other matters. All right. Go to hell. Who's this dude? Kalias. Oh, all right. You know, it's weird. Even though we all he's got a source caller too, there's a hierarchy among the people with the source callers. And I am at the bottom of the totem pole. Um... Ooh. Do you procure anything that a little gold might make you unprocure? All right. This guy's cool. Ooh. Minor strength posh. Fucking Resaroni scroll. 900. So I guess I shouldn't have burned two of those, as I'm sure the chat has already told me. Whatever. I stand by it. I won't do it again. Battering ram skill book. Very cool. Oh, weapons. A rusty two-hander. All of these weapons must be better than what I have. Oh, come on. This is the first guy I've talked to that has, like, legit stuff. Half of my party doesn't even have shoes, let alone pants. And two of us are wearing buckets. Three of us are wearing buckets for helmets. Um, oh, i got to get that stunner. Show the details. 7-8 physical. That's I think that's similar to what I'm doing right now with my two-hander. What does this one do? Oh, a little less physical, but two to three air. That is cool. Special hatchet. Five to six physical. Bonus to a niche. Oh, and can chop down trees and heads. Improvised staff. Magical small crossbow. Now, this is another great thing for Fane to have. Fane has my first crossbow. Stupid. Stained shirt. Wizard pants. I gotta buy the red prints and wizard pants. Then again, those bronze scale pants look pretty good. I can afford both. Am I supposed to, like, save money early on? Got gloves and some shoes. Uh, all right, what do you think? Wizard pants? for the Red Prince or bronze scale pants for me. I'm leaving it up to you guys. Wizard pants for the Prince, bronze scale pants for your old buddy Yebi. Asteroid 9 says wizard pants. Wizard pants would be a fun uh, handle. Just call me wizard pants. Razkataz says always wizard pants. Fancy food says scale pants protect yourself. Whiz pants from Splattermancer. Scale pants. Guys, it looks like whiz pants. I'm sorry. A lot of people were saying scale pants, but more were saying get your whiz pants on. I want someone to change their handle to wizard pants. Good day. Uh, awesome. Let's go. Uh, how do I do this? Equipment. I'm still wearing stained pants. Uh, actions. No, I don't want to do that. Let's open this up. Get those whiz pants. Send those to the red prance. Watch him already be wearing like awesome pants. Uh, no, get out of here. Uh, red prince. Equipment. Yeah, no, he was wearing shitty pants. Look at that. He was wearing one physical armor. Now he gets one physical and five magic. Awesome. So he got 16 magic armor. And six physical. Not great, but he's a wizard. 
He's not supposed to... Well, that doesn't make sense. He could still be... Have better physical armor. Uh, awesome. Old Buckethead. Hey, matches now. He's got the wizard armor and the wizard pants! Check out these wands. Turtle's Claw does 4 to 6 poison. Improvised wand does 3 to 4 water. And then he's got a ton of fire spells. So I've kind of built him up as an evocation wizard uh, that maybe is like an elementalist. That's the way I'm role-playing him. I want to say he's my best party member right now. Uh, I wish Yebby was, but uh, he doesn't even have scaled armor for pants, so what do you expect? Uh, awesome. Do a little time check here. Ooh, 220. Getting down to the uh, getting down to the uh, what do you call it? The witching hour of this stream. Is that a little something I can search? All right, let's keep going. Got my whiz pants, ready to roll. Got to get into a combat. That's why. I, that's why I came in here. Uh, I'll go left. Nothing. Nothing. I bet you this was going to be his second stupid hiding place. Okay. Ooh, might have to move some of that shit. Oh, here we go. Empty poche bottle. Mug of water. Empty. Ooh, a reinforced crate. Gold. Gimme. Reinforced crate. Nothing. Why reinforce it? Why Why not keep your gold in the reinforced crate? Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and move this, John, over here. Nope. Move it right. There. Get out of here. All right, this looks like it's blocked. Oh, barricade. I could attack it. Let's go around and see. I mean, that's obviously something I need to do, but let's just go around before I cause any problem. Oh, that chest. You know that chest has something. Have I talked to this woman yet? Uh, show of hands, how many people just went on Amazon and spent less than $20 to buy this game right now? Because... You should do it. It's worth it. Less than 20 bucks. This game, it's insane. I'm not, I, not often do I buy a game that's been out for a long time. Uh, I always have to spend top dollar for it, but this one's like 20 bucks for the definitive edition. You'd be a, a damn fool if you didn't buy it. You'd be a grant if you didn't buy this game right now. Young girl's eyes are covered, but she turns towards you. She smiles as though she recognizes you. Ooh, I like this. Hello. Oh, total monk. Sabila. Uh, seeking hey, great adventure. I That's none of your business! How do you know about that? Say I it's been quite the journey. Be Ignore her, Mark. Do you find it? Oh, I like her. She Many stones to turn. And There's great so joy here. Many people to meet. Many stones to turn. Little known fact, or maybe it's not a little known fact, maybe I've talked about this on the podcast, but my original uh, second edition AD&D character from when I was a teen, Yort Alaval, uh, was a monk cleric who had blinded himself and covered himself in a uh, something like this. What do you call it? A bandage or a fucking headband? It was cool. Clearly, they stole this idea from my AD&D second edition character, Yort Alaval. Many people meet many stones to turn. There's great joy here, as though the walls and water themselves were made by smiling gods. It's none of your business! How do you know about that? I see it before my eyes. So you've heard far seeing is much a burden. So you don't believe in far seeing? No, it's much a burden. Haha, <laughs> it's not so bad. Oh, so she might be Oracle. A bread in which days have none. I know more bread comes someday. It helps. Not here to talk about your private life! Change the subject. Uh, I'd like to ask a few questions. Why are you holed up in this cave? It's safer here. We make no trouble for Griff. He makes no trouble for us. It is safer here. We make no trouble for Why do you cover your eyes? Oh, I do not cover my eyes. I cover the place they used to be. Yep, see? Totally stole from your at Alavel. Uh, who took her eyes and why? This might be too personal. He is a very blind man. He sees things, but not truth, not love or joy. I feel very sorry for him. You understand when you meet him after you escape. Interesting. I'm not going to say she speaks strangely. I'm just going to take my leave. 
Wonder if she, uh... Hey, Blindy, mind if I open your chest? No, I'll be cool. Who's this guy? Ugh, I'm so sick of talking to people. Children, magisters, but small ones. Mm. No one tells me there are so many Kids aren't so bad. Stay in this cave, provoke Modi, the wild one who runs like his clothes. I see how you... Oh, good. I love quick dialogues. It's like, great, nothing to learn. Let's move on. What? Hold on. Take that herring. What is going on over here, and how can I be a part of it? Is that just f a flavor? Fucking awesome stream back there? What is that? Looks like I gotta go through the barricade. I wonder if they're gonna get mad if I attack the barricade. Let's find out. Quick save in case they do. A little quick save only. What's going on? Let's check out the chat here. The old chatteroo. Oh, there goes my mic. I'm psyched I got this mic. I bought all this equipment just so that I could stream in the employee lounge, and now I got a badass mic for home recordings. Um, all right. What are people saying? Metal monks, blindfold. Still talking about whiz pants. All right. Nice check in on the chat there. Sorry, I suck at chat checking in. All right, let's just attack this. Boom. Boom. Get out of my way, barricade. Boom, now I'm going all in. Wait, am I not even using... Where's all in? Is this Yebby? It's Yebby. Oh, there's all in. Cracked two-hander is broke. I was literally just going to ask you, is it bad to use your weapons to attack things? And uh, it definitely is. Okay. Well, that's a problem. I can't go w walking around without a weapon for one of my main fighters. Okay, good. I figure there must be some penalty if you can't pick a lock to just attacking it. Um, I now know. How do you repair it? All right, I repaired it. I don't know what that did, but I'm already pot committed here, so I'm just going to keep attacking it. Bell. Can I go all in? No, nope, not gonna let me go on. It's rude. All right, uh, just keep attacking. It's really not doing a lot of damage. It's really fucking up my sword. Oh god. Okay. Come on, Yebby, you shithead. How did that not break it? All right. Now, wait, let's see, anything happen? No reaction, another quick save. All right, I have a feeling something good might happen, but it might be more dialogue. Oh, that's cool. Don't you love that? Like when you go to hidden areas like this, you get to see that way. It's so cool. What is happening here? <gasps> Poison, okay. Poison and what are those? Like mosquitoes or will-o'-wisps? All right, so poison, I need some fire to get out of there. Uh, so let's switch to the Red Prince. Uh, all right. Let's see his... Not ignition. I don't know when he would use ignition. It just hurts everyone around. All right. This might be really bad, but let's try it. Oh, okay, it worked. Look at that. Poison, gone. Now, I feel like I have to wait for that burning to stop before I walk through it. Nice. I've learned that the hard way. Great. Okay, guys, see? How do you not think this game is amazing? Now, I never play... Ooh! 375 Exploration XP Zony? I never played, like, Baldur's Gate. I played it for, like, a heartbeat, and I was like, eh, not for me. Um... Probably because I played it well after the fact. So if you like Baldur's Gate, this is Baldur's Gate on crack. It's so good. Um, okay, let's use that torch. Let's light this shit up. Oh, it was already lit. Okay. Uh, what's happening right here? Ooh, it's saving. Sometimes I've found that that save means you're about to get your ass handed to you. Let's see. Okay. Nothing there. Uh, I'm going to need the red prints again. Watch out. Uh, how do I get them to... 
think it's like formation. I don't like where Fane is standing. All right, so come here. You just search over here while I'm here. <coughs> All right, good. Here we go. Uh, oh, I didn't realize the cat followed me. Let's do another Dragon's Blaze. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Turns into a dragon. And blazes. He blazes. All right. Yebby. Quick Yebby search. Let's go over here. Yeb search. Torch. Okay. You just know something good is going to come up here. You just know it. What is that? Penny Ben Mushroom? Penny Bun, rather. I'm not going to consume it. Just going to pick it up. Ooh, a shovel. Total score. I've been finding, like, uh, mounds with my perception. And I can't dig. The Red Prince, Lizard Folk, or whatever race he is, uh, can naturally dig. So I've had to have him do all the digging. Now I don't need to rely on him. Barrel. Empty. This game. Okay. Melted dwarf? Did I just melt that dwarf? Fuck. Oh, and I'm poisoned. Wait, no. Who's... Why is somebody poisoned? Wait, faint poisoned is good. Uh, actually, speaking of... Wait, what did I just do? Let's... Come on. Bedroll. Okay, let's get a little rest. Yeah, Fane uses... Po like, undead use poison to heal instead of... Uh, if you use healing uh, energy, oh, here we go. All right, this is how we're gonna. This is how we're gonna finish the stream with venomous amphibians. Oh shit! Salty mucus on Yebi. All right, so up top, this is your initiative order. Fane, my most useless character, is of course gonna go first, followed by. Uh, oh, it looks like there's one, two, three of these things. I don't even see the other one right now. Um, okay. The issue I'm going to have here is they're far away. So let's just go ahead and... Oh, look at that. Because the... Uh, I'm telling you, this game gets my nerd juices flowing. Because he's on a higher elevation, I'm going to do 10% less damage. I kind of like that instead of a bonus or a penalty to your AC or a bonus to your attack. It's just less damage. Anyways... Uh, it's all Fane can do because he's shitty. Actually, no, Fane does have this one power that I kind of like. Uh, elemental arrowheads. If, if there's an element around me, like that poison I'm probably not in range of, I can add that to my John and then fire it. All those, these guys are probably immune to poison if they're shooting venom at me. Uh, either way, I want to just check. And see, I'm probably not even near it, right? All right, so I, yeah, so I can add poison damage, but... That's just not gonna... Let me do... I think I can do a little examine situation. Yeah. Let's examine. Alright, so he's wet. He's permanently wet. Yeah, see? A hundred percent poison resistance. See? I know what I'm doing. Weak to water. That's interesting. If they're permanently wet, they take 10% again, again damage on water. And they've got a little fire resistance. Um... Interesting. So my wizard is sharing this information with me, but if I examine with the Red Prince, I'll get even better info. Ah, uh, fuck. Okay. Ugh, this is shitty, but let me just check my spell situation here. What is his armor? Sorry. Looks like he's got no magical armor. I still don't... He's got two action points. I don't know what 100% means. Maybe that's his health. I still don't know what all this stuff means, but... Uh, 64 hit points? Let me examine again. I'm trying to learn this game while I play. Alright, so 64 hit points. 8 physical armor. And then who cares? Okay. he's Oh, so he's going to be putting out 14 to 16 damage a hit. This is a, kind of a legit fight here, because I... Not gonna burn another resurrection scroll. Yebi is does in no man's land here. Um, okay, eight physical. So I want to. I want to. He, he will take all magic damage, but I need to that eight physical. From the way I understand, it's kind of like hardness, but I can chip away at it. Like once that eight physical is down, it's dr, not hardness. It's like dr. No, because dr would stay. Well, I have to chip away at that eight, and then once the eight is gone, then all the physical will get through. So maybe I should just try this fossil strike because that could do eight to nine knock out that shield let's see boom 
and he slowed, and then just a regular old attack zone here. Nice. Yeah, I know he's immune to poison damage. Ooh, what is that? Oh, he's hasted. That's probably more action points. <sighs> Yebi is about to die, which means I will have to reset this. Um, Yebi is going to have to... Invisibility potion is going to help me if I'm going to fucking die. I can't rest out of... 10 physical armor would be nice, but then I got to burn that scroll. I mean, am I crazy or is Yebi about to die and that's how we're going to end the stream? Shittily with Yebi dying. I guess I should have... You guys should have told me to get that scale. Those scale pants. That would have helped so much. Um, this is garbage, right? All right, hold on. Let's set... Um, let's see if I have another consumable situation here. Invisibility, no. A beer. That's what I need right now. Healing posh. I'm going to burn it. I'm going to burn it. Let's see. Did I not? Oh, I didn't take it yet. Is this stupid to do this? Heals 290? That seems like a lot. Right? What are you guys saying I should do? This is... This is... Uh, you guys don't even... You're talking about organized play. That's cool. Uh, 290 seems ridiculous, right? That's a waste of healing potion. Am I crazy? Am I crazy? Yeah, I'm thinking about Mosquito Swarm. That's fine. I just don't want him to die in the meantime. I mean, if he does, we're, that's how we're going to end this stream. But wouldn't that be a waste of healing, Posh? I know Yebi needs a sword. It's not a waste if you win. That's right, Jones McFly. Equip your sword. I will. Everybody calm down. Fuck it. I'm taking the healing, Posh. Stay in the fight, Yebi. Uh, equipment. Sword. Everybody needs to calm down. Okay. Uh, I feel like I need some... Fort How does he not have... Shield? Alright. You know what? Let's just do Mosquito Swarm on the guy that hurt me. Am I out of range? No, I think I can do it. Not enough AP. Fuck. <sighs> I don't have enough action points left because I burned the John ski. Oh, there is that guy. Awesome. Okay. Um, this is this is awful. Uh, I kind of want to go invisible. Provides 10 physical. Yeah, let's just eat that scroll too. Fortify myself. Awesome. Uh, that's my turn. Stick him to it. Now this asshole. Teleport. This is... These fights are intense. Just use some sort of discharge on Fane. Fane's shields are almost down. Shields, down! All right, whose turn is it now? All right, it's Beast's turn. Beast is right next to this guy. Let's go all in, right? Yeah. Let's go all in. On you. Boom, two-handed attack. Ooh, almost took half of his health. That needs a second to come back. I can fortify, or I can do petrifying touch, which deals nine to 10 damage. How much HP does it have? It's on fire now, too. Oh, God, it's got 33 hit points left. Yeah, no, I need to fortify. Myself. Or should I fortify Fane? You know, I'm going to fortify Fane. He's right next to me. He needs it. All right, the Red Prince. Let's use these teleportation gloves. I haven't used them yet in combat. Uh, item. Is it an item? Uh, shit. How do I do it? Demonic stare sounds cool. How do I use my teleportation gloves? Because that's what I want to use. I really need to set my hotkeys better. Uh, actions? I don't think it's an action. No. Uh, shut up. Let me figure this out. Item? It should be an item. No. Oh, yeah. You know what? I, I'm not showing. Equipment. Here we go. No. Uh, yes? Where's the red prince? I gave him the gloves. 
Where are the gloves? Anybody know how to do this? He has the teleportation gloves. Click on teleport, then click on target. Where's teleport, though? Is that Was that an option that I'm... Is it right here? Well, now I feel like a damn fool. All right, I'm going to teleport over to... You know, up here probably is stupid. But I'm going to do it. God, my stomach's growling. I got to eat. Choose target to teleport. Oh, yeah, I want to teleport myself. Oh, that's great. I didn't realize the gloves of teleport would let me teleport anyone. Awesome. Okay, teleport myself. The red prince. Invalid target. I can't teleport myself? Oh, that's some bullshit. All right, well, let's teleport Yebi. Invalid. Fane. I want to teleport Fane into another game. Invalid target. Am I crazy? Why can't I teleport anyone? Choose target to teleport. How is that invalid? Don't teleport yourself. It'll hurt you. You can't teleport them because you fortified them. Ah. Can't target self. Oh, they're saying it's an aggressive action in the chat. Well, shit. You're basically teleporting the enemy away. Ugh. All right, that's no good. Uh, God, this is going to be so shitty because I just know. All right, so watch this. I'm going to use Dragon's Blaze. That's all right. Doesn't that look like it shouldn't hit anybody but this frog? Every time I do this, it hits everybody but who I want to hit. Okay, bad example. That seemed to not do it regular attack here. What else do I have? Fossil strike. Right on you. Boom. He is in bad shape. Do I have time for a regular fucking attack? Oh, because I got those wands, and one of them is a water wand, which they're a little weak to. Uh, see, I really need to set up my Hotkeys. I thought I did last night, but not well enough. I'll repair. Basic attack. Okay. Let's try this. Basic attack. Attack with your currently equipped weapon. Well, I have two weapons. I want to do a basic attack. Oh, it takes two actions to do that. All right. So what's left? Ignition I can't do because it'll hurt everybody. Ah, oh, this is garbage. I can't do anything. Okay. That's cool. I guess I'll move. I don't want to get poisoned, though. Let's move to here. Back up a little bit. This is awful. Enemy's turn. See ya, Yebby. These guys all better have teleportation. Oh, that's bad. We're all burning. You guys are going to be about to see the lamest end to a stream ever, unless I figure this shit out. All right, Beast is right next to this dude. Let's go all in. Is this Beast? No, it's Fame can't keep track of these idiots. What is this? Ricochet. Eight to nine, then finds another target within five meters. I don't think I have one of those, but I'm going to try it. Boom. One down. All right. The problem is the fucking burning. I don't know how to get rid of burning. <coughs> All right. It's still Fane's turn. Very hungry. Uh, what does this do? Play dead? No, I don't want to do that. Um, this poison damage is garbage. Do I move? How do you get rid of fire? Do you guys know how to... The rain spell ends burning. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, chat. No, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. So I can't do shit. All right, let's just move. What is this? Let's move into more fire, I guess. There's two of these things left. This guy's at full. This guy is also pretty much at full, I think. Oh, God. These characters are so shitty. They're a little resistant to fire, but I'm just going to apply fire to my arrows. Because they're 100% resistant to uh, poison. All right, whose turn is it now? Old Yebby Do. Can Yebby do anything? Battering Ram? Nope. Why would he be able to do that? Uh, mosquito swarm again? All right, I guess we'll swarm. Ooh, 
Whoa, what just happened? Did that electro electrocute him too? The mosquitoes and fire create electricity? Okay. I'm not even joking. I'm going to go through and read this chat later just so I learn about the game. Um, fuck, that's really cool. I feel like if I had water now... Is it still Yebby's turn? You know what? I think I do have a water balloon. If this works. I don't want to... They Listen. The word genius is thrown around far too often these days. But if this works, this is going to be fucking awesome. I know I have a water balloon somewhere there it is. Oh, no, that's an oil flask. Where is this fucking thing? There it is. Right? Okay. I want to... Where'd it go? Item. Right here. Uh, set slot. Okay. Now I want to take this item, and I want to... Oh, it's a skill? I'm just going to throw it on this dude. Let's see if this does anything. feel like that didn't do anything. Electrified water applies shocked. I just wasted my water. Uh, it's my turn. We're all gonna die. Ooh, look at him hop. Hippity hop up there. Don't you touch my red prince! And with that, folks, we're gonna shittily end the stream because I can't... I'm not gonna lose the red prince over this. What I am going to try and do is learn from this. And I really don't know what I would do differently. But how I'm going to learn is by going back in the chat. Unfortunately, I'm going to... I have to end it here. What a shitty way to end the stream. But the fact of the matter is I'm not going to... Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna restart. I'll probably just fuck around with this to see uh, if I can learn some more. And then I'm going to restart, go back into the fight armed with a little more information after I read the chat here. But i got to get a bite to eat before my son wakes up. Because I can literally, if you can't hear my stomach on the mic, I can hear it. And my cat hates it. Um, thanks for joining me on this lovely Sunday. I'm glad we got to do this. I honestly thought after last Tuesday, I was like, well, that was cool. I got to stream and I'll never get to do that again. But uh, we were supposed to record tonight. And uh, Matthew has got the, I think, the coronavirus. He's really, really sick. Um, and while I feel bad for Matthew, my own, the only thing I like more than recording is not recording. Uh, so I'm really excited to just stay home tonight and relax. And by relax, I mean prep for our recording on Tuesday. But when I found out that we weren't going to record, I'm like, well, i got to stream. Hopefully, I'll have more days like this that once my little guy takes a nap, your old buddy Troy will jump on, play some Divinity 2, and have some fun. If you haven't bought this game, go buy it. I, I, have, I don't have a horse in the race, but it's, it's life-changing. If you play the game much better than I, then you can tell me in the chat how to be better at this, and we'll all learn together. Uh, and I won't do shit like this and end this stream with a dead red prince, because I'm not going to burn another resurrection spell, or, now, yeah, scroll, now that I know it costs 900 gold. Uh, sorry, I'm getting all fired up right now. I've run, i got a little water left. Hold on. Anyways, I always like to end these streams with a little uh, preview of coming attractions. Uh... What do we got this week? Ooh, we got a good giant slayer coming up on uh, on Tuesday. And then, uh, obviously, if you tuned in uh, last Friday night, Androids and Aliens Live, the first part of that show will drop in podcast form on Wednesday. And then Raiders of the Lost Continent is back on Friday. And spoiler alert, we haven't even recorded that episode yet. So if you're caught up on Raiders, you know how last uh, episode ended. Uh, I think no one is more excited to see what happens uh, than I. Actually, that's not true. I'm sure everybody's pretty excited uh, to see what happens. And then in two weeks, Glass Cannon Live Boston, uh, if you haven't been tuning in the whole time, we were sold out. We added 50 more tickets, uh, seated balcony uh, ticks. So check that out. And if you're coming to PAX East, uh, definitely hang out in the tabletop area. That's where you're going to find uh, at least Joe and I, uh, if not a bunch more people. But thank you guys. I appreciate you uh, tuning in and checking this out. I'm uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go eat something and uh, learn how to play this game. Have a nice Sunday. <laughs>